hey all welcome and welcome back again to our channel all things with us and welcome back again for another amazing video so in today's video this video that i'm showing you i'll be turning this old bed that you see on the screen to this amazing modern and luxurious design so watch the video to see the whole process I started by disassembling the bed using these spanners then I have this blade here that I'm going to be using in this video I have a pair of scissors for this work also I have this saw blade that I'm going to be using to cut the foam I have a tape measure also I have a hammer nails and I usually mostly I usually use two and a half nails and also one inch nails I have a staple gun uh, I have this circular saw that I'm going to be using to cut the pieces of wood and I'll be marking them using these pencils. Also, I have this ribbon but I'm not going to be using, my client decided to change the design here. And I have the contact glue that I'm going to be using and that is the bed after I have disassembled it. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is measuring the original headboard or the old headboard because it's short and I need to know the measurements and I need to know how long or how high I need to add the pieces of wood so that I can reach the at least the standard height and then the other thing that I've shown you there is that I'm going to be cutting off that tip there on top of that board and these are the pieces of wood that I came with because for this bed transformation I usually go to the client fully prepared I come with my pieces of wood form the fabric and all the tools that I need to use uh, during the process. So these are all the items that I came with. Yeah, so I did cut that piece there that you see. That is just to level up the part that I'm going to be adding this adjustment that I've shown you on the floor. This one after assembling it or nailing it together. And then I'll be using these 3mm plywood uh, to attach. I'm, I'm going to nailing them on this frame so that I can get a flat surface and then I'm going to be drawing the design that my client wanted so for this one it's a tufted bed my client wanted and then for the tufting are uh, these lines in between these lines going downwards I usually use five inch and then going on the side I usually use six inch to make the design for the tufting and as you can see that is how the tufting will look like as i'm just elaborating there using the drawings but normally if you want to know more you can just watch more of my videos because in each and every video i usually explain then after making the marks i'll use this drill to make the holes that you see on the there just drill them and then i apply the contact glue both on the form also on the headboard after that i'm going to be attaching the form on the frame then the other thing i did was uh, making the side for the legs and this uh, during this process i usually do the same thing the same process on the headboard also on the side for the legs then after that i'm just tracing out the holes that i showed you that i did drill uh, earlier before so i'm just going to be tracing them so that i can make these holes using a drill again that you see because doing tufting you need to do these all steps so that we can achieve a good and neat design as you can see then after that i had my fabric and i'll be starting by making the tufting headboard the tufted headboard and i'll be using these nails and buttons for this process also this staple gun so mostly you can use a staple gun and i also sometimes see other other people using uh nails for this one others use staple gun but for me i prefer this method uh, whereby i see it more durable because i use very very strong strings and buttons for this one so you just put the 
buttons through there using the these uh, needle and then you staple them at the back and you continue doing the same process until you achieve this design so you can see how it's a very long or a long process because you just do the tufting like that yeah you need to staple the all the strings doing one by one until you are done with the whole process but if if like like for me i'm already used to it so i don't see it as a big deal or a lot of work it's something i do for uh, less minutes give or take so you just continue doing the same until you achieve the whole process and i'm just showing you how i usually attach the strings at the back you staple them very very firmly there then after that you just straighten the fabric so you see I'm, I'm done making or doing the tufting the other thing was the final touches like the lower part you just need to make these patterns there because it has a lot of patterns and then after that you will just see me do the final touches on this one anyway if you're new here feel much welcome if you're already a subscriber thank you for always coming back watching our videos liking them and commenting on them we really do appreciate your continued support so make sure to visit our channel because we have a variety of videos i watch our content because we have DIYs transformation house transformation videos uh, we have makeovers videos uh, DIYs and many more that you will love kindly if this is the kind of content that you love or enjoy watching uh, this is the right channel for you so make sure to subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell so that you always get notified whenever we upload new videos like this and more anyway don't forget to like this video don't forget to share it with your friends and family yeah and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Make sure to tell me in the comment section down below what you think about this design, what you think about this transformation. If it's something you're interested in, instead of buying a new bed, or you rather buy a new bed, make sure to tell me in the comment section what you think about everything. And I will really, really do appreciate that. Don't forget to like. Yeah and just make sure to tell me something good in the comment section see you in my next videos and watch kindly watch the video till the end